this video I'm going to work out three examples where I am converting interval notation into set builder notation. Interval notation has curvy brackets and square brackets. This is considered to be a closed interval. This is considered to be an open interval because of the curvy brackets compared to the square brackets. This is um, either referred to as a half open or a half closed interval because you've got one of each. When you see the curvy brackets, then that means that the number negative 2 here is not included in the interval. So this negative 2 is not included in the interval. But in this interval, the 5, because of the square bracket, is included in the interval. And with this one here, the 1 half and the 4 both are included in the interval. On interval notation, you also will always find curvy brackets around infinity or negative infinity. So just a real quick little summary of some interval notation information here before we actually take these and convert them into set builder notation. All right, now my recommendation would be to maybe picture this on a number line and do a little graph first before you set it into your set builder notation. All right, so on this one, I'm going to have the interval starting at negative 2 and going to 5, and it's a curvy bracket on the negative 2. It's a square bracket on the 5. So on the number line, we want to actually show that. So we'll do curvy bracket with the negative 2 and square bracket with the 5. And since this is an interval, all of our values of x then will be in the mental middle of that interval. Okay, so something like that would be picturing it on a number line first. Okay, and then for your set builder notation, you would have your set brackets, and it's the set of all x such that x is in the middle of negative 2 and 5. So writing that left to right using only less than or less than or equal to signs, we would have negative 2 is less than x is less than or equal to 5. So here being your set builder notation. The set of all x such that, that vertical line means such that, x is in between negative 2 and 5. All right, and notice the curvy bracket I said negative 2 would not be included, so that's why we have a less than sign here. 5 is included, so that's why it's less than or equal to here. In this notation, you're always going to use less than or less than or equal to signs because we want to read this left to right and our values of x there will fall in the middle. On this second one here, we've got the closed interval from 1 half to 4. All right, so if I want to picture this first on a number line. Now, on a number line, you only have integers. So I do not want to put a hash mark uh, when I am doing my hash marks for my number line at one and a half because that's not an integer. So I might mark the number line first with maybe say there's one, Maybe there's two, three, four. All right, showing that those hash marks on that number line are just my set of integers. Now, my interval runs from uh, one and a half to four, positive one and a half to four. One and a half is halfway in between, so I'm going to do my square bracket as an estimate right there, all the way up to four, and all the values of x that I want there are in the middle. Okay, you might. Go ahead and label that all right, without actually having a hash mark on the number line. Okay, going into set builder notation then. All right, it is the set of all x such that 1 and a half is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 4. On both of those, with them both being square brackets, I needed less than or equal to for the 1 and a half. I needed less than or equal to for the 4. Here on the last one, this open interval from negative 2 to infinity, again, if we want to take a look at it on a number line, I'm going to have the negative 2 not included, so curvy bracket at negative 2, and then the interval is going to go all the way up to positive infinity. Well, positive infinity is all the way out here, so on a number line then that would be everything, including shading in that arrow showing that it's going on forever and ever and ever to infinity. Turning that into our set builder notation, the set of all x such that, now on this one, about the only way to say this is that x is greater than negative 2. Okay, so x is greater than negative 2. All values of x greater than negative 2. Alright, when you have 
the inside of your set builder notation in an AND format where X is in the middle. This is where you're only allowed to use less than or less than or equal to. If you had a number line such as this where it's everything bigger than negative 2, saying X is greater than negative 2 is fine using a greater than sign there. So just really three quick examples showing you how to easily go from interval notation to set builder notation and maybe with that extra step of showing the graph first. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.